What's going on guys? Had a girlfriend from the World Network here to bring you some more Super Smash Brothers for 3DS and Wii U. Not necessarily news, but uh, I have a very interesting video for you guys. Now, this video, as the title says, is going to be describing all of the unused data that lied in Super Smash Brothers for 3DS. So, I, this is somewhat of an old idea that I had, and I should have probably done this video earlier so it would have been a lot more relevant, but, eh, you know what? I'm finally doing it now, so I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy it as it is. This video is going to be showcasing every single piece of data that is unused in the 3DS version. Weird stuff, stuff that's just lying around. If you understand, let me, let me explain to you how this works. Basically, right now, technology allows us to take the game off of the cart. So let's just say I have Fire Emblem Awakening right here. I can take the data of this game off of my game cart and put it onto my computer and then begin to analyze and break down all the data using um, tools, software. And it really allows you to find some weird stuff that's in the game. Stuff that's not supposed to be there, um, things that were forgotten about that are left in the game. And usually you don't see these things on the surface. So when you're playing the game, you don't see them. But you see see them when you hack into the data of the game and it usually creates some interesting sometimes creepy results so let's take a look at all the unused stuff now here the first thing this is old actually you guys have seen this already just the arrow keys that kind of hinted towards DLC being in the game these were for the character selection screen and in the stage selection screen as well too so it's really weird stuff why these are there. And then we also have right here unused fonts. A rather large font with many Japanese characters, presumably for debugging purposes. So if we take a look here, like this is not really anything too big. This is just simply just font, you know? That was just laying around in the game. And it really has no relevance to the game at all in terms of, you know, gameplay functions and whatnot. So it's not that big of a deal. And here we have unused all-star um, all stage clear graphics. Currently, the game uses stages 1 through 6 results and then the black bordered final results. Additional stages may be used for DLC or it may be cut content. So, this is totally unused in the game. It's kind of weird, but um, hey, it's going to be probably, it's probably not going to be used though. I'm thinking that maybe it was just stuff that they forgot to take out. And that usually happens in games a lot. Sometimes they like a certain kind of look or a certain kind of layout with a graphic design and then they just simply switch it out later on and forget to take the old one out. It happens a lot with these games. And now we also have unused Smash Run tutorial pictures. So you know at the bottom of the screen where it kind of like tells you how to play the game when you first start a game mode? These pictures here are unused, or at least this one was. So if we, let me see, I gotta zoom in a bit more so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. But um, this picture was unused in comparison to the final. Now. This one is the unused one, which shows Donkey Kong punching the shit out of somebody. I don't know who that is. Oh, he's punching the shit out of, uh, out of one of the enemies from Donkey Kong. But in this one, the one that's final, he's not punching anybody. So for some reason, they just didn't like the portrayal of violence of Donkey Kong slugging the shit out of someone. And they changed it. So little things like that, I guess. The second image in this tutorial has an older version with a different picture of Donkey Kong. They seemingly replaced it with something that's a bit more exciting. Oh wait, oh, this is the old one. And the new one shows him duffing somebody. So there it is. Nintendo does promote violence. I love it. Thank you, Nintendo. But um, here, the third image represents, wait, 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 what? The third image represents a blank picture of four players that are motionless with something a bit more action packed. So um, yeah, here basically, you know, this is the unused one, which just shows the guy standing around in the tutorial picture, and this one shows a lot more action happening, so understandable changes. The fourth image retains a placeholder graphic in the game's data. So this is unused, and this is final. Makes a lot of sense why that's the final version, considering that it does have the stuff it's referencing in the tutorial in the first place. And um, here, this displays different power-ups, so I mean, Overall, you guys get it. Little subtle changes, um, things that don't really, uh, things that don't really have too much relevance on the game, but just tutorial pictures on the bottom of the screen. So you know, slight differences. These aren't used. And now we have the unused data sharing menu. Now this one is somewhat interesting because there are several graphics left in the ROM for a menu that lets you share, replay, screenshots, and your customized memes. This could have been added in a future update, but at the moment, these are completely unused. It should be mentioned that the game's on-cart manual, Part 1, Section 3, online function, specifically states that you are allowed to post replays. Strangely enough, the current update of Smash Bros. for 3DS has a sort by tab that is listed by creator, although it's currently impossible to have replays in-game that weren't created by you. So, this menu 
Um, the data that was found for this menu in the game implies that you'd be able to take replay save data of other players and put it in your Smash 3DS game, but that function currently doesn't exist. So that's why the article is saying it's really odd that this is there and that's being referenced. So these are all images from that mode that was cut. Is this a cut mode or is it a DLC mode that's coming in the future? Who knows? But there's a lot of data from it. So like there's images and whatnot that show that there was an unused data share, um, excuse me, a data sharing menu on the 3DS version. I'm not sure if this counts for the Wii U as well. Or maybe there is a data sharing menu for the Wii U. But this one shows that there are, these are not seen in the game, but they're inside the game's data. Really weird stuff, man. And like here you can see that it's kind of like a menu where you can play stuff and whatnot. Really crazy. Downloading Miis as well too. So apparently you could download other people's Miis on the 3DS version at some point. Kind of crazy, man. I wonder why they would cut something like this. Maybe they just didn't have enough time to, to smoothen it out, to make it that integrated, you know? Really weird stuff. And then of course we have unused sounds. Due to the simultaneous development between the 3DS and the Wii U versions of the game, this installment contains a number of unused audio clips, some of which were used in the Wii U version. So all the stuff that you're about to hear right now was in the 3DS version before Wii U even came out. You know, before people even knew it was on the Wii U version. So this one. Boss battle! That was in the game. Tourney! And these were not un these were totally unused. There was no point in Smash 3DS where you had a boss battle other than the Master Core. And maybe you can count All-Star Mode. Or maybe Smash Run, but for the most part, there was no boss battles. Tourney! The champion is Official Tourney! Online tourneys are a planned feature for the Wii U version, but they are not present in the 3DS version. So why are these sound clips in the 3DS version in the first place? Event match! Get the coins! Grab the coins! And these sound clips are also in the 3DS version, but there is no grab the coins function in the 3DS version in the first place. Special Smash! A variant of Brawl Special Brawl Mode, Special Smash is also featured in the Wii U version and also absent from the 3DS version. But for some reason, this clip can be heard in the sound test of the 3DS version. So it's not even a hidden clip. For some reason, Special Smash is a sound clip in the 3DS. So, you know, like I'm saying, leftovers. Things that they forgot in the game that, you know, don't really hurt anything. But I guess when the 3DS version first came out and they dumped the ROM, they found all these sound clips for these game modes and it kind of confirmed already that there was going to be Eight player smash. that didn't turn out as smooth as I wanted it to but it was thanks to the 3DS version of Smash Brothers that we were able to know that there was going to be an 8 player smash long before the Wii U version came out because this sound clip existed in the game now of course it could have potentially have been a cut feature but it was pretty obvious at that point, hey, there's going to be 8-player Smash for the Wii U version. And, you know, it makes sense, because, you know, the Wii U is a much more powerful console than the Wii was. Well, maybe not much more, but, you know, it definitely was a more powerful console. So they had to do something to up the ante a little bit, if you want to call it that. And that's where we got 8-player Smash from. And these yellow were just team. things. These were just things that confirmed the 8-player Smash, because the yellow team would involve more teams than the red and the blue and the green. And that would only be possible with more players, therefore indicating eight players in eight player smash. It's weird that they left these things in the 3DS version though. Why leave eight player smash sound clip in the 3DS version of the game which doesn't have eight player smash? Sakurai, you slipped up there. So we knew, well I'm before. Smash World! Smash World is not used in any version, but it might be an earlier name for the Wii U version Smash Tour Mode. Makes a lot of sense. There's no need to go any further on that because that's pretty much what it was. Special orders, master orders, crazy orders, ticket selection. Now, the weird part is that all of these sound clips are available in the 3DS version, but they aren't really used. So, when imagine the confusion that players had when buying the 3DS version and the hackers hacking it, seeing these sound clips without any knowledge of the Wii U version or what mode was available in it sort of weird and it led to a ton of speculation as if you if you guys remember like a few weeks ago maybe like a month ago when smash wii u was about to come out but then again it was it was before that before smash wii u came out and they found these sound clips everyone was losing their mind on speculation like what the hell is master orders and why is it in the 3ds version turns out it's a wii u game mode but sound clips left over choose a build so you know more stuff that's just been left behind me gunner me fighter 
me brawler, me sword fighter, me swordman. A little bit of gas. But announcements for each individual me variant which go unused in the 3DS version, as all Mii's are simply called me. Now, I don't know if the Wii U version calls them me by their actual class name, me like Sword Me Fighter. Brawler and Me, me Swordsman, Swordman. Me Fighter. I'm not sure if the 3DS version calls them by that name. I mean, excuse me, if the Wii U version calls them by that name, but I will be finding out soon because my nigga Kobe hooked me up with the Wii U. That's what I'm talking about. And now we have one of the creepiest unused data portions in Smash Brothers. I'm not sure if this currently exists in the Wii U version, but it damn sure exists in the 3DS version. The Ice Climbers chant. There is a glitch. And now a lot of you guys, this is old. This is old. Back like two months ago, almost. You guys were telling me about this. I didn't do a video on it because there was a lot going on. I was a little bit, you know, swamped. But I'm reporting on it now. Some of you may not know. So if a few of you that don't know this, hey, you're going to learn some new information. There's a glitch that occurs when playing as the villager in Japanese releases of the game where performing it well in a match, the crowd instead chants Nana Popo. Now, I actually experienced this myself because if you guys remember, I did have a Japanese 3DS and I did have Smash Brothers for it. And whenever I did play, and I, you know, I don't think it was just Villager. I used other characters as well, too, and I would sometimes hear the Nana Popo chant. The crowd cheers Nana Popo, the names of the notoriously cut Ice Climbers. There is very well likely to be a leftover from early in the game's development, as the Ice Climbers were intended to be included in the game, but due to 3DS hardware limitations, they were scrapped. The sound clip is a new recording, and not a Brawl leftover. So, <laughs> creepy as fuck. Very creepy, man. And I'm telling you, I heard that in other matches besides just using villagers, so a little bit strange there. A simple file naming mistake appears to have kept the announcement in the Japanese release. The file for villagers' crowd chant, uh, Murabito, Murabito, contained the file played above when it should have been removed. And because of this, villager doesn't actually have his own crowd chant. This oversight was corrected in the international releases, and the crowd chant is corrected to say villager instead. So. Yeah, I, I'm telling you guys though, I would hear this shit in the Japanese version, and I never really put two and two together until, oh, article, and then miscellaneous sounds. A beep, which doesn't really mean too much. Um, a very brief beep, which sounds nearly identical to the dummy sound stream present and unused in Kid Icarus Uprising. Because Sora worked on both games, it's likely to be reused as a placeholder. And now, regional differences. These are just simply Japanese and US differences. Nothing really unused data like here, but um, as you guys know, in Japan, Rob looks different from how he does look in America. Because, you know, the NES was different colored in Japan in its release. So, whatever. All the, all the trophies of Rob are different colored to match the regional differences. And um, also, his name is different. If you guys know in the Japanese version, his name is actually R-O-B-O-T, Robots, which makes a lot of sense. And this is why I love, I love the way that the United States kind of like put a twist on the name because Robot makes a lot of sense for his name, of course, considering, you know, he's a robot. And in the US, they just simply said, you know what? It's kind of a little bit too basic to call this nigga Robot. Let's call this nigga Rob. And I love it. Old stuff old stuff that I'm covering here. No, nowhere near being revolutionary or oh, Etika, new, this is new shit. No. But I mean, it's still funny to me. Robot! Rob! <laughs> I love it. I love it. And now, miscellaneous differences. Blah, blah, blah. You know, this is stuff that really doesn't matter too much. In addition to the usual localization changes to accommodate games and characters receiving different names in English in different regions, a few other differences are spotted. Duck Hunt is called Duck Hunt Duo in European releases. Um... Both male and Wii, female Wii Fit trainers have British voice actors in UK releases of the game, likely to fit in with the way the Wii Fit games are localized. Other European countries also adapt this change, although obviously with their own respective languages. Any cases of lowercase letters in the capital in the character's bottom screen eye catches have been removed, with the exception of Wii Fit Trainer. So there's no lowercase letters. And this is something weird too, because whenever I would make a me, the me would always have, like, you know. A big uppercase front, um, excuse me, the first letter uppercase and then the rest in the lowercase, like it should be. But it looks so weird in their winning screen. Like, you know, winner is Etika, and it has E with the lowercase T, I, K, A. It doesn't look right. So that's why for all my me's, I just make them with full capital letters for the entire name. Um, on the sound test voices screen, Rosalina and Luma's voices are under Rosalina's name, despite Luma's voice actor being present in those voice clips. Day, day, day! 
King TDD. Yeah, and this is also another change. In Japan, he's not really, I mean, he, well, he is a king, but I mean, it's sort of like a parody. He's not really a king. They joke on him. But in America, it's kind of like unanimous that he is a king, so they kind of just, you know, just localization differences. Like I'm saying, different cultures, different localization methods, that's all. And also another thing that um, I like a lot is that um, in Japan, I'm going to skip the Pikmin and Alf one because in Japan, Lucina, Lucina's name, for some reason, is pronounced Lukina, and I've made references to this in the past. And it's funny because in all my Fire Emblem videos, there's always somebody ready to rip my asshole in half for, for like calling Lucina's name Lukina. And it, it's fucking hilarious. And they don't get what the reference is from. I call her Lukina because I had the Japanese version of Smash Brothers when it first came out. And that's what they call her. So I'm like, wait a minute. Lukina? Isn't it Luc <laughs> It's funny. And this is what the name says in Japan. Lukina! Lukina! <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. And um, other little things like that too. But I mean... I, I think it's a lot to go through right now. I'll link the article in the description so you guys can check it out. It's a very interesting read if you got some time to kill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video though. Just going through some of the regional differences and some of the unused data in Smash 3DS. I'll probably do one like this for Smash Wii U if there is that much of a difference, but we'll see in the future. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.